My name is Peter Sárosi. I am working and live in Budapest, Hungary, and I work for the Hungarian Civil Liberties Union (HCLU). Uh, the HCLU is one of the first uh, uh, human rights advocacy organization that was created a uh, few years after the political changes, the fall of the communism in Hungary, in 1994, and uh, as one of the first human rights NGOs, uh, it uh, protects or defends uh, the rights of of, uh, vulnerable people, for example, uh, people who live with HIV AIDS, uh, people with mental disabilities, uh, people who use drugs. I'm personally the head of the drug policy program of the organization. The drug policy program uh, helps uh, uh, drug users. Uh, most of our clients are drug users who get into trouble with, with the police. Uh, Hungary has one of the most uh, repressive drug laws in Europe. Uh, drug use is, is criminalized in Hungary, and uh, we provide free legal help for, for those people who are arrested for uh, drug use. And in certain cases, if there is a, a, a serious uh, human rights violation on behalf of police or, or any hospitals, then we also uh, provide uh, a legal uh, uh, representation at the courts. In Hungary, the criminal law uh, uh, says that uh, the possession of, per, uh, possession of drugs for any, in any quantity for personal use is a criminal offense, which is, according to the law, punishable by two years of imprisonment. But in reality, uh, since 1993, uh, drug users who are arrested for drug use uh, can opt for an alternative treatment instead of car incarceration. That means that uh, if you are arrested for a small amount of drugs, you can go for a six months alternative treatment. Uh, this is like maybe two or three hours a, a week. And if you, uh, uh, if you can prove that you finish this six, year, six months program, then the criminal charges are dropped against you. But still, uh, every year, uh, six or seven thousand people are arrested because of drug use. They are taken to police uh, stations. The, there is a mandatory uh, a urine testing for them. So they, they have to give a urine sample uh, as a routine procedure. Uh, the police can go and investigate their houses, their cars. Uh, they uh, can even be uh, expelled from school or they can be fired from jobs. So there are a lot of problems in Hungary if you get into trouble with, uh, for, for drug use. And uh, we also have uh, a lot of problems with uh, personal data, for example, that we just had a case that uh, uh, hospitals and ambulance uh, were reporting the police if they are uh, called for, uh, for a drug overdose case. So uh, also we have a lot of problems with uh, schools, so the schools are, usually they call the police if, if they find out that uh, one of the students used drugs. So all the legal environment, and not only the legal environment, but the social attitudes to drug users uh, on all levels of the public health system are very repressive and very negative to drug users. Since 2010, we have a conservative government in Hungary. And this conservative government, led by uh, Prime Minister Viktor Orban, uh, uh, launched the War on Drugs campaign. So they said that by 2020, we have to create a drug-free Hungary. And of course, uh, this slogan actually is, is now reflected in the national drug strategy, which was adopted in uh, 2013. And uh, we, as HCIU, we say that this is a utopic uh, and unrealistic goal. Uh, we never get a drug-free Hungary, we never get a drug-free society. We have to try to learn to live uh, together with the drug phenomena. We have to lear learn how to reduce the harms of drugs. So we promote uh, uh, harm reduction as an alternative of uh, criminal, uh, criminalizing and punitive uh, drug policies. So we support uh, those programs that are helping uh, drug users to minimize the risks of drug use. For example, in party settings, to help drug users uh, who are consuming party drugs or 
uh, needle exchange programs that are providing drug users with uh, clean needles, uh, substitution programs that provide drug users with uh, medications. And unfortunately, recent, in recent years, the government cut the budget for public health uh, and social programs, and they increased the budget for, uh, for criminal punishment of drug users. So according to some estimations, the Hungarian state spent four or five times more money on criminalizing drug users than uh, treatment, harm reduction, and prevention of drug use. So we promote a drug policy that is uh, turning it upside down. So we say that we should spend much more money on social and health costs than on, on criminalizing drug users. So recently, the government is kind of fighting a war against harm reduction programs. And this is a real big problem because uh, needle and syringe programs were the only effective programs that reached out uh, drug users on the street who provided them any kind of help. So in order for a, a drug user to get into any kind of treatment, first they have to go to harm reduction services in order to get into contact with, with uh, any kind of other services. So now uh, the two largest needle and syringe programs closed in Hungary. And uh, this means that uh, now there are thousands of injected drug users in Budapest who have no connection to any kind of services. This is a problem because we, we, can, we could see that, for example, in Romania or Greece, the similar reduction happens in the access to harm reduction services. And now they experience a huge HIV epidemic among injecting drug users. So by, by, by closing down harm reduction services, the government risks a similar a large scale uh, HIV epidemic in Hungary. Actually, the government now is really hostile to all kind of NGOs in Hungary that are uh, uh, express any criticisms of government policy. And this can be uh, uh, witnessed not only in the drug field, but for example, NGOs who help uh, homeless people or NGOs who uh, provide uh, help for, for sex workers or any kind of other vulnerable groups. So the government is uh, really repressive to any kind of, uh, of vulnerable groups, and uh, they try to, uh, uh, you know, discredit NGOs that uh, promote human rights. They say that we are paid by, you know, Western uh, uh, businessmen, uh, and we are not serving the Hungarian interests. So they also uh, initiated a tax investigation against uh, some of our NGOs, uh, they even had some police investigations at in, in the office of some NGOs. So yes, we, we experienced some uh, disturbances and we experienced some attacks against uh, independent NGOs in Hungary. But that's not only you know connected to the drug field, that's now general politics in Hungary. Uh, the government is uh, really wants to silence uh, 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 civil society. They establish their own, you know, so-called NGOs that are completely paid by government agencies, and they say that they are the real civil society, and, uh, and uh, you know, that's also, you know, a way to, to uh, discredit us. If I talk about Hungary, the only hope that things will change, of course, is, uh, is that uh, uh, someday this government will uh, will leave uh, and another government uh, will be elected because right now with this repressive government uh, is now creating a system that is like uh, they call illiberal democracy and it is more closer to the Russian author authoritarian system than uh, other European demo democracies. The real problem is that mm, there is no... Uh, majority support for democratic values in Hungary and human rights. So that's why we really uh, want to uh, uh, use uh, innovative communication tools to you know, get public support for our ideas, because without uh, public support, uh, uh, there is no change chance to, to change the situation in Hungary. Of course, in terms of uh, drug policy, uh, uh, we should think internationally, because uh, um, 
I don't think that the the fate of drug policy will be decided in Hungary. Hungary is a very small country. So actually, what what we see in, for example, the United States now, that many uh, states are uh, making marijuana legal, and uh, in Latin America, a lot of countries are uh, criticizing the international drug control system. And if this international process is now starting, that that there is a reform. Uh, internationally, I think Hungary will follow maybe uh, later than uh, than the Western world, but but I think that uh, uh, the real decisions in drug policy will be made in the international level and not in the Hungarian level.